Hello, brother. We're gonna make a video. I recorded. Hi, everyone. We're gonna make a quick video today to show you guys all our kangles or livestock garden or whatever you name it. This is Zoro, as you all know. He's the world champion, show winning dog. Also, really, really good livestock guardian dog as well. He's proved himself with the wolves, the wild bulls and bears and all that stuff while he was in Turkey. He's currently, how old is he? Seven year old, isn't it? Yeah, he was born in April the 16th, 2016 actually. This is how they usually hold the tails. Dude, my boss, dude, video check, because we're recording a video, bro. I know it's too hot. Oh. You know, I'm gonna slowly take the other dogs out as well. I'll just show you guys what an actual kangal is. You know, because most people will show you big dogs with the same type of coat, but with a wrong head. You know, the tail will be wrong as well. But usually, I'll show you, they've come closer. When the tail is done, look, this bit here is like a sort of like a hook, and it always stays curly at the bottom, even the tail is done. So that's what you should be looking for. And there's always actually a mark on the tail, even look, Zorro is usually just a red foam type of dog. But if you actually look at here, there will be a line on their tails all the time. So this is our main stud. It's open for studs as well, but we usually pick our own girls. We don't just stud them for any other bitches in the UK or anywhere else in the world. We've got a few girls waiting for them to be used. They want puppies from Zorro. Two of them, good, but one of them, I haven't seen it like personally. I've only seen in the videos of it, but we're gonna wait and see. So yeah, this is Zorro. See the size of his head. Just comment below and see what do you think about him. You know, and if anyone wants to come and see our dogs, they can more than you know they're more than welcome to come and visit us. That's it. Now I'm gonna move to the other dogs. Hi guys, we're back again. Sorry, all the dogs are just the weather's too hot in the mountain. This is our girl Gidget. She's the mother to our latest puppies. She's a bit camera shy, but I'll try to do my best and record her. That's, she hates it. Good job. Do you want to show yourself? She's also related to Zoro as well. She's the daughter of Zoro's stepbrother. So, that's like two, three generation in. Your brother, your brother, your brother. Did you? And yeah, let me get her up. Yeah, yeah. She, like I said, she literally just hates being just like the dogs that we had back home in Turkey. You know, they don't really like getting cuddled and all that stuff. Well, it's actually depending on how you raise them as well. I don't really like hugging and handling the pups, you know what I mean? Because they're working dogs, but they still love you, cuddle you and all that stuff but she's a bit, she's got a bit different character. Yeah, and this is our girl Gidja. Come close a bit, let me show her the teeth. This is how her teeth are. And that's her head shape as well. Like, you see when I talk about the head shape, that straight, you know, the tail as well. Look, when it's down, as you can see, there's like a little, hook at the bottom. How tall she is, you know, and I am what, six foot one. And this is how big she is. She's one of the probably tallest girls. In it baby. Right, we're gonna move on to Silas now. Most people will ask me, uh, here's again. Most people often ask, uh, why don't you breed Suez and you know, don't you think he's a Kango? He's a Kango, but he's got quite minuses to it, you know? I'll show you guys then as well, why I didn't breed him or why don't we breed him. 
Right. It's crazy. We move on to the next one. This is our young boy Sivas, which is our first ever dog in the UK. We had dogs back on, but he's the first boy. And it was probably the best one at the time. I've done so much researches. There was one breeder in here, Midlands, Birmingham. You know, his dogs were really bad and Sivas was probably one of the best at the time. The only problem with Sivas is his mum and dad are actually brothers and sisters. That's what we've been told and that kind of actually shows as well. That's why he's a bit smaller because in breeding that's what makes the dogs big or smaller and all that stuff. Um, Sivas's tail as well. He usually holds it curly. But like I said, when it's down, he's just straight. I would have loved to be like this, you know, if you wanted to be like kind of like this when it's down. It's like you're learning at the same time, mind you. And when it comes to his head as well, come closer, babe, I'll show you. All the other dogs, all the Kangles, they have straight her head. You know, the forehead is usually straight about. What you can see from Sivas, he's got a bit more like square. See, that's why I didn't really want to kind of breed him. But other than that, Except from his head and that tail bit at the end, he's perfect. Like literally all his body, his chest, his legs, you know, his back legs as well. Look wide and thick and strong. And he's got probably one of the biggest teeth that you've probably seen. He's really, really good and clean. And he, no matter what, whatever happens, this one is like everything, you know. You know, you can call them whatever you want or whatever what other people say. He's the best. He's a little toy. Don't you think? Is that a mole? Get out there. Get out there. Get, 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 get. Get out there. Yeah, yeah. Get out there. Like you, you usually hold his tail up. And yeah. We have two Labradors, we'll show them in another video as well. Thanks for watching guys, please like the video and just subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We'll be making more videos explaining about the Kangles in the, Kangles in the UK and all around the world as well. And it's kind of my gardener at the same time, big boy. <laughs>